Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to discuss if oats or oatmeal lowers your sex drive and testosterone levels. Now, I recently did a popular video about oats entitled Health Warnings About Eating Oats or Oatmeal, Especially for Breakfast, and I'll give you a link to that video at the end of this one. Now, what's interesting is that within like 48 hours, I had three separate guys contacting me uh, in the comments section or on Facebook or email asking me, um, why do I see a decrease in sex drive when I consume oats regularly? Now, another person asked if, you know, I, I think eating oatmeal in the morning is killing my libido. Can this be true? And the last person asked, I swear to you, my testosterone feels lower when I have lots of oats. Any studies showing this, Dr. Sam? And that's what I'll be discussing today. If oats really are a problem, uh, what I discovered in hormone tests and also a specific oat that's clinically proven to increase your testosterone and libido. Now, earlier I stated how this was all really interesting because years ago when I used to consult and coach a lot of professional athletes, and including bodybuilders, and a few guys, you know, tell me repeatedly the similar things. You know, now if it was like a regular person on the street, I wouldn't have given it as much thought because there are just too many variables that regular people don't take into account. But these guys were professionals, right? And thus they lived a stricter lifestyle. They were very detailed and calculated in everything they did. You know, what they ate, slept, exercise, you know, supplements, drugs, and so forth. So I had to take it seriously because something was obviously negatively affecting their mood and their performance. And thus I did hormone tests on these guys whenever it was possible, both blood and saliva. Now what's interesting is that they almost all had elevated cortisol and also lowered testosterone levels. This was, there was a basically a big imbalance and ratio that was not optimal. And just so you know, as your stress hormone cortisol goes up, your testosterone will come down. They go in opposite directions. And this imbalance could easily be the cause of the lowered sex drive, the libido, the performance, and so forth. So what was the cause? Was this due to eating oats? Honestly, I have no idea because I don't have enough data on these people, right? Now, could this have been uh, the case with the other athletes who did not eat oats or didn't complain about it? Again, I have no idea because I wasn't doing, you know, some randomized clinical study doing hormone tests on dozens of different people. Was it because they had an allergic reaction to oats, which will cause inflammation and a rise in cortisol? Yes, possibly. This is what I thought, what I think the problem was. And the bottom line is, though, I don't know for sure. You know, I can't say anything with certainty because I don't have hundreds of people saying the same thing to make any conclusive decisions, whether it's empirical or clinical. There's just too many variables. However, and I want you to listen carefully, if you feel like eating oats or any food causes a decrease in your libido or sex drive or some other negative physical or emotional or mental issue, then my suggestion is you stop doing it for about two weeks and see how you feel. If you feel better and there's an improvement, then good. We discovered something important. Then reintroduce it back into your diet and see how you feel. If things go bad again, then I think we know for sure that you must eliminate this specific food from your diet. Now this can be oats or any macro or micronutrient. Listen, for whatever reason, right? Your genetics, your age, your hormones, I don't know. Your body doesn't like it, which is fine. You know, right? What's important is that you listen to your body. It'll tell you what you need to do. Of course, paying attention and listening is the hard part. Now, before I end today's topic, I also did do a quick search on PubMed about clinical studies linking or possibly linking oats to testosterone or cortisol levels, libido, and so forth. Unfortunately, nothing good came up. And honestly, even if it did, any study can be refuted with an opposite study, you know, if there's just only one or two of them. However, there is one important fact that came up in my research numerous times over and over again, and it's about a specific type of oat that raises your total and your free testosterone levels. And just so you know the difference, think of your total testosterone levels kind of like your gross income, how much money you make and your free testosterone levels as your net income. That's what you keep after tax and at taxes and expenses. Thus, they are both important, right? They both matter, but your free testosterone levels matter more. That's the active, usable testosterone. Anyway, this specific form of oat that, that increases your total and your free testosterone level is called oat straw extract, also known as avena sativa extract. 
Now, you can't get this from food. You know, years ago I tried it and it just doesn't work. It needs to be in a specific supplement form with a specific extract of 100 to 1 ratio. Now, below in this description, I put a link to a product that contains this exact form of oat straw, a vena sativa extract. It's actually something I've used myself for over 20 years. It also contains about a dozen other clinically researched natural ingredients that, again, help balance and optimize your hormones by increasing your total and your free testosterone levels while also decreasing your negative hormones, such as estrogen and stress hormones and cortisol and so forth. Just click the link below this video in the description area, all right? That's where all the stuff is. I've also posted a link to the original video about the health warnings about eating oats and oatmeal uh, for breakfast. Remember, always listen to your body. Just because someone else can eat one food or follow a specific diet or, you know, the way they look or feel better doesn't mean that your genetics are the same. Listen to your body and do what works best for you. Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.